Here's a Harbor Freight bandsaw that I bought in about 10 years ago, probably. And I, I used the used it, cut tons of metal with it for a few years. And um, I was right in the middle of something and the motor quit on me. And when I went to look for a new motor, Harbor Freight prices, and the, the new motor cost almost as much as just buying a whole new saw. And um, I was kind of in a hurry. I didn't want to re-engineer a whole nother motor off a washing machine or something. So I took a coupon down to the store and I bought a new one. This is basically the same thing. I didn't want to wait around. I, need, I had something I was trying to get finished. So the, uh, but the old one in the meat, I kept, I just couldn't stand it the old way. I kept thinking I'd fix it someday. And it said in a, in a shed, but the weather was it's been kind of hard on it. This got surface rust all over it. You know, the motor doesn't work. And, uh, you know, the new one, I, I've been using it a lot too. But one thing I hate about these saws is in the vertical mode, they're so short. I'm kind of a big guy anyway. But this, when you put a table on here, it hits me just above the knee. And, uh, you know, most people sit on the back part of the saw to use it in the vertical mo mode and uh, so the plan is I'm going to take this one apart I'm going to turn this into a permanently vertical saw fix the motor replace the motor whatever it takes okay I've taken the motor apart and I found the culprit if you've ever worked on one of these you may already know but this is a centrifugal switch it basically when the motor comes up to speed, it centrifugal force throws this out, which is a switch basically. It disconnects the cap, the run or the start cap out of it as soon as the motor gets a few RPMs. And the problem with this motor is inside of here there's a um, contact. This piece here is flexible. It's kind of like your old points on an old distributor. There's a contact point between this flexible ring and this one of the conductors to the start winding. It had fused together. So whenever it was trying to start, it, the, cap, the cap wasn't, you know, uh, wasn't working. I took it apart. I sanded the contact that's underneath here, both sides. Kind of reshaped this ring and it seems to be starting just fine now. So the motor's okay. Yeah, here it is with everything put back together, and as you can see, running fine. Another thing on this old saw, and even back when I used it, it was always leaking uh, the oil out of the gearbox. The this little rubber seal that they had in there, it, it's turned to uh, mush, I mean, it's you can just tear it apart. And it's leaked this sticky mess out all over down the leg, all over the everywhere. So once it's, it, once we're done and clean, that's going to get changed out with a uh, much better gasket, better oil. And that ought to help it last a little longer too. Alright, it's taken apart, and where I'm going with this, is I, I've got a hobby of making uh, knives and I want to make this this is the, my bench I'm, I use for knife making and I, I like this height I want this to be permanently vertical on the, on this bench and it's you know it'd be the perfect height to take a cut out your knife blanks perfect height for me I'm gonna make a much better auxiliary table here too and it'll be permanently in this position so I've been studying the way it was mounted on the uh, on the original saw, and I'm going to use these pivots. There's two bolt holes there on the back. The other side with the motor pivoted on, I'm going to use that. I'm going to make mounts for all those. Now right, here's what I've come up with. This is a quarter inch steel. I've uh, 
made some you know, separate pieces, bolted them onto the base of the saw. The two holes on this side correspond to the two holes on the saw. This pivot point, I welded an angle bracket in for it to set in. The previous place where the motor mounted or tilted on the original, I've made two solid motor mounts here. And I've got two more back here that'll now that's where the motor will pivot now and uh, this plate's um, 12 inches long it's nine and a half inches wide and if you want to try this you're just gonna have to make you some templates and make some of the pieces individually put them up on the saw and start welding them together pretty simple though I'll try to show you how this is going to work. If I don't block the camera, the uh, saw it keys right down on this. It keys on there really tight. It drops right in, and it's sturdy without even putting a bolt in it. But there'll be two bolts here, a bolt through this side. There'll be uh, bolts here and here where the original motor pivot was. The uh, motor is going to sit on those pivots. Like that. So that's where I'm headed. And I'm wondering what we got inside of this thing. It's in a wonderful shape. It's so swollen, it's, it's falling apart. I don't know what they use for rubber, but it ain't. It's just gooey. Uh, look at how much how much oil is in there. Almost dry. First time I've ever opened it. And what is in there is just thick sludge like molasses. So even if you're not modifying your saw, I'd say if you've had it for a few years, you definitely need to crack it open and clean this sludge out, this goo, put some good oil in it. So that's well, I, I um, tried to clean it and the stuff that was in there was so thick, I couldn't even hardly scrape it out. So I took, uh, soaked it down with uh, engine cleaner let it soak for 30 minutes or so went run down to the car wash and uh this thing it came out pretty good i mean i don't know if, I don't know if it'll show up in the video but the inside of that gearbox is night and day compared to what it was the, the sludge that was in there but i'm going to put a i don't know what what they call for but i'm going to use some gear oil this is something i had left over from my tractor or something and uh, I took a little piece of 220 sandpaper I just hit all the edges here on the got the lid really clean and I'm just going to use some silicone gasket maker to replace the gasket and put the oil in it all right I really don't know how much oil is supposed to be in this thing but I filled it about halfway full vertically, which I figured should be the same thing as half full, or I mean horizontally. It should be the same thing as half full vertically, so I don't know if you guys think that's wrong. You could leave a comment on there, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this lid down on the silicone and hope it doesn't leak. I let it sit for uh, 24 hours with the gasket maker in it and uh, then I stood it up yesterday so it's been another 24 hours and I was a little worried about leaks but it's been sitting there for a day, day and a half, dry, dry as a bone so looks like it's going to work. We'll have to 
You know, it's kind of cold. I'm kind of wondering if that gear oil, when it gets really nice and warm, how it will do, but we'll see. All right, time for a little assembly. All right, here we are. I'll put back together with a new blade on it. And... It'll uh, sit on the bench like that. And I'm going to build a table, which I, there's no, I won't put that on the video. Lots of people have made videos on how to make a new table, but I'll make me a new table. It'll sit on the bench like this, where I can cut out uh, knife blanks at the perfect height. I mean, it's, just, it's worked out great. So the only, the only thing I think I might see there could be an issue with later, I didn't really think about it before, but I wonder how many metal shavings are going to stay inside of this. There's actually a triangle cutout in the base of the saw that I'm assuming that's what they put it there for was for the shavings to fall out. If, uh, if it gets to be a problem, I'm probably going to flip this over and either put a hole in the bottom or put a hole right here in the front where maybe I could just hit it with a shop vac and suck the uh, metal shavings out occasionally. But I'm pretty happy with it. Bench top vertical bandsaw out of something I was going to throw away. Thanks for watching.